Hi there, I'm Gavin and welcome to my new review of my Philips One Blade Razor. So I've been waiting about a week now for it to come in the post and since then you can see a little bit of stubble has arose and now it's to give it a wee open, give it a test and see what it's really like. So here it is, just arrived this morning, the new Philips packet. Now to see if I can open this with one hand. Now inside, I can see it's quite a generous boxing, but here is the new one blade razor. So as you can see from this, the packaging itself is actually pretty snazzy. It seems to on the back give a brief description of the various blades. And this overall looks like quite an elegant box especially for a razor this competitively priced. So now I've removed all the horrible sticky labels from the packaging, so I might be able to get into it. Looking on the back, I'm a wee bit apprehensive about this new style of blade. Um, moving from my typical five blade razors to this almost mesh-like, I have no idea what kind of quality shave this will give. And looking to the front of it, you can see it there. Is it going to focus? There it is. You can see it's kind of nothing like any other razor on the market just now. So it'll be really interesting to see kind of what kind of shave it gives. But it's interesting as well for the beards, the use of the inbuilt trimmer on it. So now that I've had a small battle with the packaging, this is it finally open. So you can see it comes with. A uh, small pamphlet showing you the best ways to use the trimmer and the shaver combined. The one I ordered had three various blade settings for the beard clipping. You've got your standard charger and then the razor itself. Now the razor when it's came, it's came with some charging already. So that's me ready to crack to and start using it. So I'll see you in my next review. Here's the review for the first shave. As you can see the razor here, it's not like your typical razor. It's got a strange honeycomb mesh and blades on it. So with this, I'm not actually too sure to tidy up my neckline, whether I'll need shaving gel or not. So here's going to be a wee go to see how the shaver itself handles on cleaning up a neckline. So first try for me, first time you're seeing it, and let's see how it goes. Now, so far, I've only been cutting up to my neck. I've not been using any shaving gel at all. And surprisingly, it's given me a really close shave. You'll probably not be able to see it fully, but it's cutting thick through the stubble with no issues, and it's not catching either.
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a slight close up of my neck. See what it's like. So, the lines are fairly smooth now. And it seems to take away all the stubble with pretty minimal irritation. So today I'm just going to do a minimum shave. I'm going to tidy up my neckline a wee bit more so it just sits round here, curving round my face. I'm going to sort my cheeks as well because they've got a wee bit hairy well, in the process of waiting for this thing to come. So I'll catch you back once I'm finished with the shave. So that's me back now. I tried clearing up my under neckline here with just the blade itself, dry shaving with the electric on and nothing else and it actually seemed to do a really good job. Now I'm just trying to see if I can get a bit of a neater, more clear cut line coming round and just round my neck with a small bit of shaving gel. Now I did try to even up the sideburns here even the backs and give it a little bit more shape and the same with on this side and actually I would say it's done really good for what it is so now it's the first time trying it on actual wet gel and to see what it runs like now I don't know whether it's meant to be used with this or without but there's no harm trying Actually, it feels quite good running with the gel. Feels a lot smoother, less drag, and it'll actually get even closer cut. Like this. Now it's giving me as close a shave as my typical usual wet razor but the added bonus it's convenient like a dry one this thing's really thrown me off as to what I think about the razors but time to dry out the one blade shaping up my cheeks now here I've got hair growing left, right and centre right up so it's time to get these sorted and tamed and then see how the rest goes And I'll join you when this is done. So you can see now, I've done this side of the beard, and actually, this has gave me a really clear cut line. I'm not wanting to go too deep just now, because I'm wanting to maybe try out a different style in the next couple of days. But for now, seeing how well it's done there, it's fair go to see how it does on the other side. So last time you saw me, I was sorting out my cheeks here. Now it's time to try out the razor. I've got the 5mm blade attachment and let's see Now that's the first shave done with the Philips one blade razor As far as things go, I'm pretty happy with the performance with the one blade I've had a good shave and it's gave me enough trim on my neck and tidy up in the stubble for I'm happy with the results everything's clean and tidy and I'm ready to so there it is, the Philips one blade after it's first shave I really am looking forward to the next one and finding out kind of how to